this is a great way for anybody who struggles to do conventional squats in a squat rack. It's called a V-squat. And it's a great way to, to be able to do a squat in a safe manner and really try and develop, even if you haven't got an injury and you really want to put your quads under maximum tension, this is a fantastic machine. This is made by Hammer Strength, but there's a lot of different brands out there. So we'll place our back against the pad and our shoulders underneath. She'll, if you notice her foot position, she's going to be just slightly short of shoulder width apart and the toes are going to be pointing nice and straight. If we stand up now, that's locked her off. So what she's going to do now again, she's going to splay her knees out over, which allows her to open up at the hips. If she keeps her knees pointing in over, she doesn't engage her hips. She needs to bring them knees out over, so it allows the depth of that squat to go down. And again, she's driving all the force through the heels of the feet and up through there as well. Now, a way, if you're going quite light, you probably wouldn't get this if it was heavy, a way to treat, really try and emphasize these quads is when she's going at the top, so we'll do it on the next rep, so she'll go down. As she comes up, she'll lift them heels off which will really emphasize that quad without having to lock out them knees fully. And it's just a matter of lifting them off and straight back down again. And again, just key points on this, so we'll just keep our feet flat for now. So key points on this, make sure our knees are coming slightly out over, which allows us to open up at the hips to take the depth of that squat, because if you don't, it's a really, 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 con it's a really compact position and we're breathing out as we're at the top, and we're going down. And just notice how far down she's going. She's going down enough, so her glutes are probably just about in line with the back of the kneecap.